Hey guys, what's up? It's Drew Walkthroughs again with uh, more heavy rain. Here we are at some cheap looking motel with a new character. Let's see what's going on. Guess I better take the stairs. Been looking okay. for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Oh. Lauren, Lauren Winter. Winter. Ring any bells? Nope, can't say it does. A little. Okay, let's see. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Thanks a lot, jerk ass. Alright. Interested to see what this dude's deal is. door on the left. Or last door on the left. There we go. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. Nope. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Ugh. Why are we dealing with whores? Put your money on the table. You got exactly nice 10 looking minutes girl, the alarm rings. But too young to be the sort okay? of girl you find holed up in a dive like this. Uh Okay. Freaking prostitute. Gonna have to play okay. my cards right if I'm gonna squeeze anything out of her. Hey, she thinks I'm what a client. What do you mean by that? Yeah, she keeps the place oh, pretty not. ship shape. I've seen whores that didn't give a damn about their living conditions. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of okay. the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to yep, ask you some killer is the main that. point of the video game, looks like. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Oh, she's the mother of the victim. Okay. Uh, I understand, compassionate. Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. I'm trying to be nice. Uh, the killer convinced. is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it yep. make? Uh, tr uh I don't, I'm not going to buy her off. I'll just piss her off. Are you deaf? It's a trigger. I have nothing to say to you. Get out of here. I didn't have time if to push it. If we don't it, find the trigger. killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? I think it worked. What do you want to know? Uh, Did Johnny live with Johnny's you? home. Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. That ain't earning shit, honey. Uh, Tell me about Johnny. Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. Well. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. All right, well, we need to find out if the killer has any reason for killing the kids what he's killing. No thanks, I quit. See what his motives are. That's brave. <laughs> I'd like to see uh, if we can figure out who it is before it reveals it, you know, based on clues. 
Tell me uh, about Johnny's, Johnny's father? father? Yeah, where's he? A loser without a job would like to this? beat me after a few drinks. He ah, left the day Johnny disappeared. Lovely. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing he left. Um, Did you suspect suspect. anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids. Well, where's the motive? Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. Wow, thanks. You're a big help, honey. Ugh. I was trying to save some other kids, thanks. You no know. point in pushing it. Hmm. She's not gonna tell me anymore. I'll leave my card on the kitchen table. You never know. Okay. Good idea. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail. Give me a call. I gotta get out of here. I didn't learn squat. Well, it's worth a try. Yeah, we learned, like, absolutely nothing other than her son was a good kid, according to her. Ugh, close up. Where's the door? Uh, there we go. As a uh, asthma. Well, thanks a lot for being concerned, you asshole. God. Lauren, open up, baby. It's me. Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dad. Goddamn asthma. But I really want to <sighs> see ya. And it's not gonna get any better this freaking oh. weather. Oh shit. That guy just forced his way into Lauren's place. Sounds like the room's getting rearranged, and not in a good way. Let's just stand here for a few more seconds. I gotta go Think back and help this. Lauren. That guy might kill her. Yeah. Well, don't knock. She's screaming, dude. What do you want, asshole? Lauren! Is everything alright? She's just swell. No. Now beat it, loser! Wow. You again? In the damn door. Bitch. Oh, fight scene. Nice. This is what I've been looking forward to the game. I look forward to these fight scenes. Kicking his ass. Oh, I didn't. Oh. I'm sure if you miss one, it's not gonna screw anything up too badly. Shit. Call the cops! Right? Better than him, yeah, I Yeah, thanks guess. for all the help. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. 
He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he got a couple of punches in. Interesting. And there's this dude. Who is he? This dude looks interesting. Private eye. That was a cool fight scene. Oh, White Knight. I mean, like, two trophies for every stage. It's kind of weird. So I guess we're going to be playing with Ethan Mars, who lost his son, and Scott Shelby, who's a private investigator so far. And then this dude and a girl. Yeah. That name somewhere. What was it? Blake. Lieutenant Carter Blake. Yeah, that's it. Reporters. Already. Huh. You seem well informed. This guy cop or something. Goddamn rain. Detective. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm really gonna love it here. But my hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. No. You're not going to take anything sir. if I have anything to say back. about it, buddy. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Norman Mr. Jaden? Jaden, okay. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Duh. Check. You can pass. So he's an FBI I'm looking for Lieutenant cool. Blake. Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna check out one of the murder scenes of the origami killer, apparently. It's kinda cool, our characters are all like interested in the same thing, kind of. Except for the father, I guess. Doesn't really have anything to do with the origami killer. What the hell? Amazing sunglasses. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is that's cool. 14 a.m. R1. What's this do? What the hell? Oh. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. More in the next part.